Welcome to Charts Today Energy and today's edition for Thursday the 1st of November comes to you from London and we start by looking at the energy mix. We can see it's um, uh, pretty bearish, pretty well all around and that's uh, very much led by the falls in crude oil this morning. Just taking a look at the macro, the dollar is maintaining its uh, bullish trend, falling away a little bit this morning but we are still bullish. The euro actually stronger against that weaker dollar but not yet into bullish territory. Uh, dollar yen, we're seeing the dollar regaining composure and staying bullish on all three time frames here. Sterling jumped quite significantly overnight against the dollar on the news of a Brexit deal uh, for the city, up over 1% against the dollar and the euro. We're seeing sterling pushing higher again as well, so looking stronger there too. Against the Swiss franc, uh, sterling also looking very strong. Markets are recovering, so we're seeing that this morning. If we take a look at, uh, say, the DAX, we see it's up quite strongly. FTSE down on the weaker pound, but generally speaking, we are just seeing a little bit of recovery in, in stock market sentiment led by uh, the US indices uh, pushing higher last night. Gold is stronger um, with the dollar pulling back a little bit. Gold is actually looking stronger this morning, heading back into uh, short term bullish territory and silver is up as well. US 10 year yields sitting short term bullish at 3.16 uh, percent bullish on all three time frames. So markets still expect the Fed to raise rates, which is supporting that stronger dollar. Um, looking at the energy mix, we're seeing Brent crude uh, still bearish below the cloud on the short term chart uh, and just taking a look at that 60 minute chart we see we've really been in a downtrend now for most of October just heading lower the correlation with the dollar is actually neutral at the moment but uh, crude making new lows on that short term uh, 60 minute chart remembering this is my weekly my long term picture here 1% uh, daily medium term and then my short term and the one minute chart uh, showing the very short term so we're seeing crude lurching lower uh, every hour this morning we, we we fall away and then we recover a little bit fall away recover a little bit fall away so it's it's very much a case of uh, one step up two steps down and we're seeing these downside targets being given and met so 7350 is the next one to be met the 74 targets were met 7290 this is on the one minute chart if you're trading crude keep an eye on this watch for any any one minute targets to the upside. Uh, looking at WTI, we're seeing uh, also we've got downside targets. This 5820 target, which we have talked about uh, previously on uh, charts today, we're seeing here this is now activated. That's pointing to 5820. That's 10% below where we are now. So um, that's that's very bearish for the price indeed, and we're 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 seeing that um, uh, carrying through. Looking at US Nat Gas. Um, actually holding strong up half a percent sitting at uh, three uh, three dollars twenty so uh, three dollars twenty seven so looking much stronger here notice how this target was given um, and was given at uh, 315 and now met you you really can't afford to ignore these targets this is the one minute chart on that gas and here we see the um, the 60 minute chart we've got a target of 334 so it does look like we're going to, to nudge those highs again um, looking at uh, heating oil we're higher and rub above as well um, coal we're seeing um, is lower and um, that's driving prices down as well as is Richards Bay down two uh, percent uh, so we're we're just seeing really across the ball quite a fall away emissions down some three point uh, percent so we're we're lower there as well MBP um, looking lower too and we're seeing uh, MBP just uh, sitting at 1.8 uh, percent lower this morning downside targets of 61 60 62 40 uh, and, and um, TTF much the same lots of downside targets there NCG also lower um, of course and we're seeing Italian gas also falling away so sentiment really um, pretty bearish there German power down 2.4 percent this morning these downside targets on German power just showing through all the way um, so we are just seeing that uh, that bearish sentiment really filtering through Nordic power down 2 percent um, UK power down and Dutch power also down uh, quite heavily uh, so we're seeing pretty much across the board falls in the gas and power markets with lower crude prices driving things. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.